Today on Toy Shiz, we are talking some serious trash. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys, and today we have got the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Target Store exclusive, Muck Everlasting. Muckman and Joe Eyeball. Gorgeous box art as usual. Looks like an old VHS, FHE videotape. I love the look of that. On the back side, various photos of the figure. Some nice illustrations, including Joe Eyeball handing Irma something gross. <laughs> a little bit of a bio for Muckman and Joe Eyeball, aka Garson Grunge and Joe Junkie. Just happen to have those names, well, why wouldn't they be turned into a pile of walking trash and an eyeball guy, right? Just seemed like it was fate. On the bottom of the box, everyone involved with the happenings and the makings of this duo, so thank you for that. And here's the barcode as well if you want to screen grab it. These are starting to hit Target stores now. And you simply open up the box and you get to see everything inside. A nice photo of the figures and... The figures themselves go figure accessories and all this is going to be fun i'm very excited about this i love the neca tmnt cartoon turtles they're like little mini art pieces every time you get them so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee preferably a new cup of coffee not one that's been sitting in the trash can for a couple days this is a look at the brand new target store tmnt cartoon turtles exclusive Muck Everlasting, Muck Man, and Joe Eyeball by NECA Toys. And of course, once you say muck it and open it up, you're treated to two brand new mutants that are very, very cool looking. Ever since the old Playmates toys, Muck Man, Joe Eyeball, very, very awesome figures, right? And now you got this 2021 version from NECA Toys, and you're not disappointed. He comes with a pair of extra hands, weapon holding hands, trash holding hands goo slime holding hands they're very malleable you can put the weapons in no problemo he actually comes with an extra mouth yeah no joke you simply pop off the old one on muckman put this one right on this is an excellent addition right here from tropatron labs where he gets mutated right outside i should say you get a canister of ooze neca put slime in the box it's all taped up it's set it's in there we might use some slime eventually maybe not today but we'll see what goes on and then you get joe eyeball so beautifully rendered this is so cool he's two-toned cell shaded he's got the black lines very animated looking the eyeballs are fantastic they don't move they're just solid pieces his head does have some articulation he's got a great smile on him this is so much fun the arms are articulated as well at least the top arms the more tentacle type ones don't move legs don't move but i really like the cell shaded nature of him just the little details here and there he just looks cool he stands well he's got a pair of feet his tail helps him balance so in either case yeah joe eyeball very well done you also get the rockalizer gun this is a new sci-fi tmnt super weapon whatever you want to call it it's painted really nice i would say just be careful right here around this section it's a little bit not loose but maybe fragile we'll just say you don't want to drop it snap it things like that very cool to see and then he comes with his trademark trash can you know who's going in there right again cell shaded nicely done i love the colors comes with a hook right there and yeah you're going to simply just put it right there on Muckman's back. These little handles don't move, although they do look like they could, but they're just a solid piece. In either case, very well done. And then you got Muckman himself. Quite the hefty, heavy figure as he should be. Look at that beaut right there. Banana peel hat and all. He's got a bug right there on his forehead. He's got a clothespin on his nose because it's smelly, right? That's what people did back in the day. You put clothespins on. Slipping the mouth out. Very interesting. Looks like an old man at this point. <laughs> but yeah, you can just pop it out, pop it in, go slow, just kind of wiggle it out. It does stay quite well in there. And you can see the difference between the two mouths right there. And then, of course got various trash paraphernalia all over him apple core i would say the top of a building air duct something like that i can tell right here it's a magnifying glass in his pants although i think that right around that area it kind of gets a little jumbled maybe it's not exactly as clear 
as it should be. He's got flowers. He's got little pus balloons and trash and green stuff. Kind of looks like the Toxic Avenger a little bit. You know what I mean? Or he looks like Muckman, whatever you want to say. He's got trash cans. He's got squeezy bottles, paint cans, whatever you want to call these things. Big old feet, trash can for like a sock or part of his pants. He's got the big old manhole cover foot. That's a trademark for Muckman, right? Very cool to see. I love his orange garb. It's awesome. He rocks it. The articulation works pretty well. He's got the big clunky head right here. He'll kind of just move to and fro. He's kind of got that big old beard of goo right there. Not much movement going up and down. So, yeah, he kind of lacks in that area. I love his little wiggly banana hat right there. <laughs> now, you can get some nice articulation out of the arms. He's got biceps swivel to him. He's got double jointed elbows, which works Really, really nicely. Just go slow. Didn't have any problems on this guy, though, so I wouldn't say you'd necessarily have to heat him up. The wrist will swivel and rotate. He's got upper diaphragm rotation, which works really nicely. He also has a bit of an ab crunch, kind of, sort of. He'll rock, basically. He'll twist at the waist, which moves really well. The legs are great. Again, kind of reminds me of Mondo Gecko. Kind of reminds me of all the old Playmates figures. They do not rub. There's no paint stress. There's nothing like that in the more rubberized crotch piece. He does have double jointed knees on both sides. Now you got two different semblances of feet, right? But they both rock and they work really nicely with the figure. He's got the big old manhole cover foot and then he's got the big old clod hopper foot. I would say if anything, just on the articulation of mine, the legs are a little bit looser than I would like. Then you take the old trash can right here. You see it's got the hole right there on his back and you simply just peg that in Go slow, just kind of wiggle it down. You don't want to like jam it in there and break off the piece or anything like that. Always with Nega Toys, just go slow, especially with the turtles, just telling you. And then to get it out, you kind of just rock it slow back and forth, pops right out, and bingo, bango. Now you got Joe Eyeball. He can sit right inside. You can have him kind of on the outside, kind of holding his back. You can put him all the way in the trash can if you wanted to go that route. But once you have him all set up, god dang. Does that look cool right there? And then, yeah, he can hold the rockalyzer. Like I said, the hands are very malleable. Holds it well. Put the trigger finger in there. It looks great. Although, I think I'll prefer him without. You can put all the trash, his hands, the face, and then put Joe Eyeball. So you got nice weapon storage. In terms of the scaling for these two figures, it works really well with the Ninja Turtles. I have to say, I love everything, all the attention to detail that NECA puts into these. They really do their homework. This is amazing to see, but not as amazing as seeing the original Muckman and the new Muckman together, including the Joe eyeballs. <laughs> you see that over time, yeah, it's kind of evolved. They took the Playmates toy, you know, made it into that. You see Joe eyeball, he kind of looks like the cartoon version and vice versa. So it's kind of like that one look for these characters but just done in different styles. Always has the banana peel head. He's always got the clothespin on his nose. He's always got the big manhole cover on the old one. You can put all this slime in there. He's got this big gun right there. So it always is in the same vein as one another. And I really dig that about Muckman and Joe Eyeball. And they all sit in there oh so beautifully. So that's really cool. Krang, man. So in either case, yes, I think it's another knockout TMNT Cartoon Turtles NECA Toys figure. Very few grievances. I would say maybe some of the design elements gets lost on him. Maybe the sculpting isn't, let's say, painted to really make it pop as much as it should. More around the magnifying glass, like in his belt. Just things like that are kind of like, okay, well, I know what it is, but it could have been a little bit clearer in that sense. I would say go easy. Most of the joints didn't have to heat up at all. Go easy on the trash can on the back. The peg on that just has me worried. Just go easy, pull it out, pop it back in real fast. I always say just go easy on all of these NECA Toys turtles. They're more display pieces than they are throw them around, pose them around, all that kind of stuff. And I like him for that. He's got some great weapon storage and I simply love that he came with the slime. I promise you this, on my Instagram, at some point next week, 
I will dump a ton of slime all over this guy. I'll even do it with the old muck man. I'll probably just do a separate video showing all the ways you can incorporate slime with all the various muck mans, right? But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. Will you be grabbing them? Have you already got them? And what do you think? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything muck man. And thank you again to NECA Toys for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, whoever came up with the duo of Muck Man and Joe Eyeball, that is the perfect name for a bunch of trash mutants I've ever heard. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.